with three omkaras please sit erect eyes closed inhale deeply ಸುಸ್ವಾಗತಂ ಸಾಮರಸ್ಯ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸಂಗ್ರಹ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ನಾನು ಯೋಗ ರಾಜಯೋಗ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯೋಗ ಕರ್ಮಯೋಗ ಫೋರ್ ಮೇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ there is a unity in the diversity of the paths this university unity in diversity of paths is also the feature of our indian culture so therefore in india we promote diversities and even we celebrate differences so unification is through yoga vividhata mein ekata vividhyamay jeevan hai bharat ka aur iska ek mool aadhar hai yadi isko nahi samjhenge bahut confusion ho jata hai varse koi aadmi aate hain wo idhar dekhte hain कितना विविधता हर एक अलग अलग है इधर अपना जो लोग रहते हैं वो अलग है उसका भाषा अलग है कस्टम्स मैनर्स हैबिट्स ड्रेसेस आर ऑल डिफरेंट एंड सिटीज आर्ट्स म्यूजिक डांस ड्रामा आर ऑल डिफरेंट एंड लुक एट द स्ट्रीट्स बिल्डिंग्स रेस्टोरेंट्स फूड टेम्पल एवरीथिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सब अलग अलग है so our culture is a highly developed one with varieties and diversity is as a manifestation of the creativity and that culture we call it the sanatana dharma here there is no single book like a bible or a quran there is no single prophet like christ or muhammad there is no single god number of gods and goddesses so naturally a person who comes from outside cannot see the underlying subtle unity amidst these diversities iske andar jo samarasya hai iske andar jo munadi hai ek sutra jo hai wo nahi pehchan sakte kyunki sab alag alag hai बाहर देखेंगे बहुत सरल है समझने के लिए सब एक ही ढंग का है भाषा एक है और बिल्डिंग्स भी एक एक स्थान में वही होता है और शहर और डाउन टाउन एवरीथिंग इज सेम सो इफ यू लुक एट द बेस्ट इट इज सो इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग इज सो यूनिफॉर्म सेम मैकडोनाल्ड्स एवरीवेयर same pizza hut everywhere and single god single prophet the same ten commandments same type of churches and sunday services everything is so uniform so easy to understand the monolithic culture if you see one city like new york we don't have to see many others they are all same modes downtowns 
residential areas and so on. Uniformity we can call as the Western model. This helped in the mass production. Diversity is the Indian model. Vividhita humare desh ke samskuti ka vishesh hai. Prashtu urta hai. Kyo? Aisa vividhya hai. Sab balag alag kyo hai? Jab uske andar ke samaras se aur ekta ko nahi dekhenge, tab confusion hota hai. To andar ke ye sutra kya hai? What is that unity? That binds us all to this grand culture. And we call it as God. If you don't like the word God, no problem. You may call it as reality. You may call it as consciousness. And Patali called it Kaivalya. Probably Buddha called it Nirvana. Parama Atman said. And that is self of all. And the whole foundation is in yoga, spiritual lore, we call it. Everything is available. It is to see something like gold in all ornaments. Sagar hota hai, alag alag thangge. Wo sab pani hi hai. Ye pani ko dekhna, ye bohot pramukh hai. Seeing clay in all variety of parts. What you see outside is civilization. What is inside is culture. एक आदमी में बाहर जो दिखता है वो नागरिकता बताया जाता है परंतु उसके अंदर क्या होता है वो उसका संस्कृति है तो दोनों अलग अलग चीज है इसी ढंग से एक समाज एक देश वो भी अलग अलग हो सकता है स्वामी विवेकानंद जी ने बताया कि हर एक देश अपना व्यक्तित्व होता है The Vikitva is given in the culture, the inner personality, it is subtle and outside is embellished by the civilization. So Vivekananda said every country has its own personality. He said if it is British, business for the British, aesthetic for Japanese, freedom for French, science and technology for Americans, it is spirituality for India, he said. So, a society can have a very highly developed civilization, but very poor in culture. Similarly, it can be highly developed culture, but very poor in civilization. When both these things are in their great, greatest and grandest development, then you call it as an ideal society. These three societies have been pictured in Ramayana. We have got one side, Sri Lanka civilization. Sri Lanka. No, Swarnamayi Lanka. And Valmiki describes and spreads a lot of pages in Sundarkanda to describe how Sri Lanka was. He had varieties and varieties of buildings. Richest in the world. Wonderful broad roads and lots of fountains, trees, natural beauty, fountains everywhere, parks and parks, and all types of food that is available. And there are a lot of things for enjoyment. Everything was available. Economic superpower it was. Defense superpower it was. And there were persons, the Ravana, his sons, and everybody was an invincible warrior. And they had the biggest of the weapons of the times. The three main weapons which are considered to be the super weapons, Brahmastra, Narayanastra, Pashpatastra, all the three were mastered by Ravana. And Indrajit also had all the three weapons. He was able to win over Indra. Indra is the king of all gods and goddesses and he was the Indrajit. Such was the defense superpower. 
technology at the highest level of achievement. Even today we do not match that technology. He had an aeroplane called Pushpak Viman. The speciality of that is any number of people can sit. Still there is place for one more person. Imagine. And it is able to move at almost the speed of mind. That is the grand civilization. Highly developed civilization. But what was the culture? The culture was in a low M drawn by Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Mada, Matsarya, anger, greed, jealousy, hatred, and least values, the whole thing. Culture in the low level. The second society that we see is the Kishkinda, a dwelling of all Vanaras, all monkeys in a sense. <clears throat> but the culture was very high. They were all powered with the values. Jeevan Maulya said, a Vana Samaj, itna sundar tha, itna bhavya tha. From the Bahar, uska nagari ka tha, bada bada buildings nahi tha. Kujh ek do, shayad tha. From the sub log, idhar udhar, ped ke upari rahate de, bhaut vana, aisa hi chal raha tha. To culture bhaut mahan tha, परंतु सिविलाइजेशन बहुत ही नीचे था एंड वी हैड द थर्ड अयोध्या इन विच यू हैड द बेस्ट ऑफ बोथ द सिविलाइजेशन वाज एट अ पीक इक्वल एंड टू द लंका इकोनॉमिक सुपर पावर डिफेंस सुपर पावर एवरीथिंग वाज देयर एज श्रीलंका बट द कल्चर आल्सो वाज ग्रेट दे एडहेयर टू द वैल्यूज द सत्वगुण संपन्न and the Rukala Vamsha Parampariya values that are followed by all the kings in the dynasty of the Rukala. And it was prescribed Shaishavi Abhyastakar Man. In the when they are in the young, they devoted their life for education. The person who is going to become the king, he is going to continuously be trained in the best of the education system, with the Paravidya, with the Paravidya, both. They are experts in all the education system, 64 types of Vidyas. At the same time, they also were experts in the Paravidya, all the Vedanta, Yoga, everything they were masters. Shaishavi, Abhyastha, Shikrana. Then, when they got into the adulthood, then they lead a very ideal life with married things, producing children. Producing children to continue the dynasty, to continue the values. And as they grew, they serve the society with absolute selflessness. And when there is a conflict between money and values, it is always the values that reign. Jivan Molike Sa Jodaite, Rukukura Parampara. इतना सुंदर था और जब जब द्वंद्व था पैसा या आपका नाम शक्ति एक और दूसरे और अपने जीवन मौल्य जीवन मौल्य ऊपर आता था धर्म का ही ज्यादा प्रामुख्यता और जो मंत्रीगण बोलते थे ऋषिगण बोलते थे महर्षि लोग जो थे कुलगुरु बोलते थे उसको राजा ने संपूर्ण रूप से उसको मानता था इसलिए यदि राजा गलत रास्ते में जा रहा था तो मंत्री वशिष्ठ महामुनि उसको बोलेंगे तो उसको बदल देगा इतना महान था अब सब लोग जानते हैं कि राम अभी राजा बनने वाला था दूसरे दिन परंतु कहीं कहीं उसको बताया तुम वनवास जाना है भरत राज्याभिषेक करना है दशरथ ने जो वर दिया था उसको पालन करना पता है राम को कुछ भी दुख नहीं हुआ बहुत आनंद से गया माता के पास बताया कि कि माता कुछ चिंता मत करो मैं आपकी आज्ञा का पालन करूंगा मातृदेव वो भाव पितृदेव वो भाव ये रघुकुल परंपरा है इसको संपूर्ण रूप से पालन करूंगा भरत राज्याभिषेक करा दो ये राज बनेगा मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा आनंद हो जाएगा 
इतना प्यार था इतना प्रेम था भाई 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 लोगों में और आराम से चला गया वनवास में चला गया चौदह साल के लिए यही राम का सर्वगुण संपन्नता दैट इज द ग्रैंड कल्चर दैट है कल्चर रेनिंग ओवर द सिविलाइजेशन एंड वेर इज दिस धर्मा वेर इज दिस सेट ऑफ लॉस दैट आर गिवन दैट ब्रॉड हेडिंग कॉल्ड योगा स्पिरिचुअलिटी दिस फॉरम्स द फाउंडेशन ऑफ सनातन धर्मा ऑफ दिस कंट्री सनातन धर्मा मीन्स एंशियन साइंस द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रहेंसिव साइंस द मोस्ट होलिस्टिक साइंस द ग्रेटेस्ट इन डेप साइंस एंड सनातन धर्मा एनाउंसिएट्स द लॉस ऑफ क्रिएशन द लॉस ऑफ द होल क्रिएशन टूडे इन मॉडर्न साइंस वी हैव एंडरस्टूड द लॉस दट गवर्न द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड फोर हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑफ इंटेंस रिसर्च द बेस्ट ऑफ द माइंड्स वी हैव बिन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड वी नो दैट दिस एंटायर फिजिकल वर्ल्ड is made out of energy and we know the laws that govern them newton's laws of motion and we have quantum mechanics the deterministic approach and the probabilistic mechanics both we have understood and therefore we know everything about the physical universe our knowledge about the physical universe is complete now science is progressing further to go beyond the physical is there something like prana what are the laws that govern the biological systems and what about the mind and what are the laws that govern the mind is there something like an intellect which is apart from the mind what are the laws that govern the intellect is there something like emotion is there something like consciousness what are the laws that govern them into this region of subtlety modern science is progressing whereas the sanatana dharma crossed all these things and understood everything about the whole creation and what are the laws that govern them it's called the trifold law creation sustenance and destruction srishti sthiti laya aisa teen angon se banaya hai sanatan dharma bahut puratan this is the trifold law of the universe the creation is continuously changing and changing and this governed by srishti sthiti laya everything in this creation has a birth it is sustained for a while and it destroyed there is nothing in creation that does not follow this law all gods and goddesses even the trimurtis brahma vishnu maheshwara also are governed by this laws and if we go longer it may be shorter we have got animals and insects which live for a very very short time and in the physical world we have the quantum particles seem the small particles just coming and going for millionth of a second they are created they sustain and they die so everything in this creation is changing and changing and changing that's why the great philosopher nagarjuna of the buddhist tradition he developed a model called kshanika vada and according to him everything is changing and changing and changing and changing and the law has been given here in the sanatan dharma but when somebody asked him is there something that does not change he did not answer it is the mahayana group who came later said it is a zero it's a shunya shunyata they said but when shankaracharya came he said how is it possible na sato vidyate bhava na bhavo vidyate sada no this fantastic world this infinite world cannot come out of a zero no? so that soul should also be infinite therefore the unchanging reality is purna purna madah this ever changing creation is also infinite purna vidam what the relation between the two purna purnam mudachyate this infinite creation comes out of that infinite source no? 
And when this infinite source comes out of that infinity, what happens? You know, the law of infinite world applies. The law of finite world is x minus x is zero. If you have a billion dollars, I take away billion dollars, you are set with zero. You have a trillion dollars, you take away trillion dollars, you are set with zero. X minus x is always zero. But in the infinite world is more generalized. Infinity minus infinity can be zero. Infinity minus infinity can be infinity. So here, Purna se Purna Madhavaya Purna Meva Vasishyate. The original Purna doesn't get changed. That is the whole formula of the equation. So in the ever-changing dimension, we have the highest entities, the entities for creation, sustenance and destruction, the Trimurtis, trifold law governed by the Trimurtis, Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara. And that which is beyond, that does not change, is called Brahman. Brahman is pure consciousness. It is beyond the trinity. It is beyond space-time causation. It does not change at all. It has no birth, it has no death. And it does not follow the law of the creation. Creation, sustenance and destruction does not apply to Brahman. And the greatest secret the Upanishad gives us, it is our original source, source of all of us. Essentially, we are all originally a Brahman. And it's ever existing. Where is it? It's everywhere. You ask any of the villagers, where is this God? I sir, it's everywhere. Sarvan Taryami. Is there a place where it is not there? No, no, no. Everywhere it is there. Is it there inside you? Yes. Is it outside? Yes. Everywhere it is there. There is no place where it is not there. It's a common knowledge that is given to all our villages. And that is the dimension given there. And then what is the goal of life? Okay? What is the goal of life? What is the goal of life? ये जीवन का कुछ अर्थ है क्या इसको बताया जाता है कि अंदर जो महान शक्ति है वहां आनंद है और परब्रह्म स्वरूप है ये बाहर अभिव्यक्त होना है यही हमारा जीवन का लक्ष्य है उसको समझना उसको रियलाइजेशन करना एंड दिस गोल टू मैनिफेस्ट दैट डिविनिटी इज बिल्ट इन ऑल ऑफ एस हाउ डू यू से दैट वी ऑल वॉन्ट मोर एंड मोर ब्लिस we aspire for knowledge, we have to have zeal for power, quest for freedom from all this misery. We want to be free from all miseries, no tension, no stresses, no diseases, and no bondages we want. That is the goal built into our lives. And this is what has been portrayed in the Bhagavad Gita, which is a wonderful text which gives us the Samarasya thing dimension. You know? That is the unity in diversity. Eighteen types of yoga have been described here. Every chapter is a yoga. Why? Anything that elevates you, that takes you to what divinity is a yoga. And even the melancholy of Arjuna was a yoga because it raised him to understand the totality and come out of his total confusion and the conflict that he had, the conflict between duty and conflict between love and affection. He was able to overcome that. So let us contemplate on these thoughts. Sit tight with the eyes closed. Relax all parts of the body from toes to head. Beautiful smile on the face. Sharir ke harik snai ko shithil karna. Muskan ke saath. At the body level. We have complete relaxation. That the key essence of all asanas. Take a deep breath and slowly breathe out. Slowing up breath. The key essence of all pranayamas. Now look at the thoughts. Thoughts are coming and going, coming and going, getting created, sustained and destroyed. Go to the
the source from where all thoughts come. The source is infinite bliss, infinite knowledge, power, in a state of complete peace, total tranquility, trupta sthiti, ananda sthiti, shanta sthiti, maha mona sthiti, o nishabda sthiti se, parama mona sthiti me, विशाल आकाश जैसा हमारा जो स्थिति है आनंदमय कुछ जिसको बोलते हैं उधर से जग आता है हर एक चित्त वृत्ति और फिर उसी में डूब जाता है ऑब्जर्व दैट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइलेंस that all pervasive space, like the sky, the thoughts come and go, come and go, like clouds coming and going off. That infinite space, the shanta sthiti, the trupta sthiti, immense bliss, that state is our causal state, Anandamaya Kosha. Let us tune ourselves to that Ananda, the bliss, and manifest that bliss throughout the day. Let the fragrance of bliss come out in all our activities and five acts of Good service done every day. Namaskaram Mudra. Om Asatom Asatgamayam Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha, sarve bhavantu sukhinaha.